vlog, I will be sharing with you guys the tips, causes, and symptoms of liver and kidney diseases. So, if you wanna know more para ma-prevent na magkaroon yung mga dogs nyo or mga chow-chows nyo ng mga sakit na to, please keep on watching. Mom! Hi guys! Welcome again to another vlog. It's me, Mommy Nay. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, please do not forget to like and subscribe. Another Sunday vlog for you guys. Um, so today, ang pag-uusapan po natin is yung importance of taking care of our dog's kidneys and livers. Um, kasi recently, marami akong nakikita sa mga groups chat groups ng mga issues na to at for once parang naisip ko, kailangan bang i-vlog ko siya kapag nagkaroon na si Theo or nagkaroon na yung dog ko diba hindi naman, prevention is still the best step in any kind of disease or kahit ano pang sakit yan so there, so without further ado let's get started marami na ako guys nakikita ang issues about kidneys, so dun talaga tayo magpo-focus today okay, so common talaga sa mga chow-chows or sa mga dogs, yung renal insufficiency. So, what do we mean by this? The inability of the kidneys of our pets to really filter the blood waste na meron po sila sa kanilang katawan. Guys, there are two types of renal insufficiency. The chronic and the acute. So, guys, sa chronic, it loses its function gradually. So, usually, nangyayari na yan sa mga seniors. Alam mo yan, pag medyo may age na yung dog mo. Yung acute naman is for shorter terms. Ibig sabihin, talagang tinamaan siya agad-agad for days or months lang. Which is, this one is most commonly more deadlier. So, next naman are the symptoms for renal insufficiency or failure. So, we have here the following. Blood in urine, lethargy or yung pagod sila, parang pagod na pagod sila lagi, uh, excessive drinking, frequent urination, decreased interest in eating, and seizures. Okay, so usually talaga yung mga nakikita ko sa comments at nagtanong na rin ako sa mga experts pag ganyan, dinadala na yan agad sa vet what vets usually do is have a full panel na blood test so usually makikita dun sa blood test na to kung saan talaga tinatamaan or saan yung infection ng iyong dog um, it's very important din talaga that on a yearly basis you do these things para talaga to make sure that your dog is healthy or the causes. So, you have toxins, you have medication, leptospirosis, food, or bacterial infections. So, kasi usually, kapag kidneys or liver, ang una natin sinisisi talaga, guys, is yung diet niya. Pero marami po talagang factors kung bakit talaga nagkakaroon ng diseases na ganito ang ating dog. Okay, gusto nyo nyo sumahal sa akin dito, guys. Okay, so doon naman tayo, guys, sa tips para hindi magkaroon ng ganitong mga diseases ang inyong dogs. Stop self-medicating your dogs. Kailan daw natin to, guys, yung lagi tayong nagda-diagnose ng ating sariling mga pets tapos we give them human medicine such as biogesic, Sorry po sa mga nagbabitamins ng tiki-tiki. Alam nyo po to, these are medicines that were made or were created for humans and not for dogs. So, when it comes to their medicines, make sure that you always consult your vet. Number two, vaccinations. So, nakita nyo kanina dun sa causes natin, nagkakaroon po ng mga kidney and liver diseases talaga. Natatamaan po ang ating mga pets kapag nagkakaroon sila ng leptospirosis. And paano po natin ito mapiprevent? It's their yearly uh, maintenance of vaccination. So, yung mga 5-in-1 natin, mga ganyan, very important po yan. Number three, popular dog food does not equate to quality dog food. Okay, sasabihin ko na po dito sa vlog na to na hindi porkit kilala siya, uh, fit na po siya sa inyong mga chow-chows or your dogs. So, if you really look at the content of your dog's food, makikita niyo po doon kung hmm, parang medyo maalap. I've already shared it in my essential. Reasons why I am for grain-free food, um, I'll link it below as well. 
hindi naman po sa parang pinagbabawalan na kayo magkaroon ng pet, no? Kasi dahil nga hiyo, you really can't provide. Pero, um, chow chows or high maintenance dogs like chow chows require really quality food. Or else po talaga, di slow death po yan sa mga dogs. Nararamdaman po talaga nila yan. So, let us be very mindful of uh, how we take care of them or what food we give. Number five, meron din po akong vlog about this. Always clean your house and it especially the floor and the kennel of your or the crate of your dog. Only if your household nyo po eh, hindi po kayo nagtanagal ng slippers at tinadala nyo po sa bahay o sa loob ng bahay yung shoes or mga footwear na ginagamit nyo sa labas dinadala, tinatapak nyo po sa loob. Hindi Hindi po nyo kasi alam na baka yung mga natapahan nyo outside, madala nyo yung viruses and diseases sa loob ng bahay nyo. So, it's very important that you always clean mop your floor. Okay, eto, another tip. Ewan ko kung mindful kayo about these guys, but for parents po, for mommies and daddies, how many times do you make your dog pee outside? Okay, so if there's somebody who is trained inside the house, well, well and good. Uh, but if you're somebody who always makes your dog go outside, uh, according to studies, and I asked the vet about this, the healthiest times you should be able to make your dogs or pets pee is about 3 to 5 times every day. So, dapat po yung interval is 4 to 6 hours. Hindi po pwedeng mag-exceed dito. Or else, eventually po talaga, eh, magkakaroon sila ng mga renal uh, failures. Last but not the least is always check the color of your dog's urine. So, ito po is also a sign humans po. Ito po yung isa sa mga signs for us to know kung healthy ba or there's something going on with our pets. So, usually po dapat parang tao, light yellow, dark, ibig sabihin, kailangan ng dog nyo or ng chow-chow nyo ng more hydration. And, warning na po yun pag nagaroon talaga ng blood or red mark sa kanyang baby. Dapat po talaga i-rush nyo na ito sa baby. So, there you have it, guys. Hopefully, may natutunan na naman kayo kay Mommy D. So, yun nga yung intro ko dito sa vlog na to is huwag na natin hindayin na magkaroon pa bago ko i-vlog about it. Magtulungan tayong lahat para ma-prevent natin ang mga diseases na to eh, at pagpatuloy natin ang vision ng channel na to. Alam niyo yun na to make our chow chows live forever. Wish ko na kaya yun. Pero there you have it. So, I hope you enjoyed. Um, link or comment below what you want me to vlog about. Ano yung mga issues nyo? And I will be the one who's going to research for you. Consult experts and doctors. So, there you have it. Thank you again for watching, guys. I'll see you on my next vlog. Bye!